On today's episode of Watch Jergo, I bought an abandoned mini resort. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jergo and today, like I said, I am here with the newest project we're going to do on the channel. Now, I've been working on cars for a very long time. In fact, nothing but cars and making daily videos for about four years now. So it was time to make a change. A change that many other car YouTube channels have made as well. Just like Goon Squad or Demolition Ranch, we gotta take a little break and go HGTV for a bit. So, just like Demolition Ranch has, I bought an abandoned resort, I bought an abandoned mini resort. It's a tiny cabin at a lake. But you guys will be able to take part in the action as well. We're gonna put this on Airbnb so you can come check it out when we're not using it. So, there's a lot to do. Let's go on a tour of the property. I haven't really seen it. I got uh, you know a couple videos of it. It was a disaster. This place was filled with, well, trash, first of all, and it still is. The trash is everywhere. But it had motorcycles and four-wheelers and a camper and all of this stuff, and it was all still here two days ago. And then it was finally time to close today, and the owner doesn't live anywhere around here. They up and cleaned out the whole place. They pretty much took it all, which is great because I was gonna have to throw most of it away. But I was really hoping that I got a bunch of free four-wheelers and motorcycles with this deal because we could spend a bunch of time working on those, which would be pretty fun. Anyway, let's go on a tour of this place, see what we're working with, see what we're gonna have to get knocked out. And three days from now, hopefully this thing is ready for uh, a new everything. We have a team coming in to try to turn this place around. Right now it's, it's really bad. Let's go check it out. All right, this is as live as can be. I closed on the house about two hours ago, backed the truck in and the camper, got some power over to the camper, got it set up, and now here we are to get started on the fun. So I'm at the edge of the first lot. And from right here, we can actually see the lake really well. And apparently during the winter, when all the leaves fall off the trees, you can also see the lake really well. It's not lakefront, but it's really close to the lake and it's a great location. All right, let's walk this thing. So they left a lot of firewood, which I'm probably gonna restack right now to try to get it all out of the way. I don't know if they're gonna take it. They left some of their animals and they're supposed to be on their way back to get more stuff. We're gonna find out together if any of this stuff ends up leaving. So uh, as long as they come get the, the cats, I'm fine with it. Anyway, there's wood everywhere. For some reason, there's cactuses. I have no idea why, but they're here, and it actually kind of looks cool with the little turtle stone and everything. I'm not upset about that, you know? Somebody put some work in there. Anyway, another stack of firewood, clothes, um, a bed sheet, comforter covering the firewood, fishing rods and chains on a, uh, this is a, that's a power wheel. There's a clothesline held up by the basketball goal that's gonna go in the dumpster tomorrow because I mean, there's nowhere to play basketball. There's no concrete. Uh, we got a bunch of power wheels right here just covered in toys. And if that's not gone in a couple of minutes, all of this just goes in the dumpster that'll be here in a couple of hours. And we've got uh, another clothesline over here. It's gonna come down in a minute. I gotta get everything off the trees to clean them up. There's a rocker back there. It's gonna go away. Camper looking great. This fire pit, clearly gonna need moved. And one of the reasons that I really wanted this property is because these lots are super deep. And not only are they super deep, it's three trailers wide and big trailers. Like you can fit 100 foot trailers, 100 foot rigs at least, over here. And when I come up here a lot, I have a trailer and there's nowhere to rent or hang out where you can park a trailer. So now I solved that problem. This side, is all trailer parking, at least for now. We've got some ideas for what we might do with this lot later, but for car guys, uh, people that wanna come up here, go rock crawling, take their boat, get on the lake, it's perfect. You can park your trailer, you can put your, I don't care if you got a 100 foot yacht, you can probably fit it in here. Good luck backing it in, but you could probably fit it in here. Back towards the front, we have this mirror for some reason, uh, like I'm, I guess it's a mirror off the wall. That's gonna go in the trash. This is their weird trash can keeper, but there's no trash service as far as I know at this lake. I don't think they'll come down these roads at all, and I'm pretty sure you have to use the community trash, so I'm not quite sure why that's there. If there is trash service, that's gonna be awesome. I'll fill them up. Over here, that smells. We have some old paint roller trays. We have this really nice workbench. Look at that. That is, we can't even move that. It probably weighs a ton. Uh, clearly this had some storage up there. There's no power, even though there's wires everywhere. Uh, there's no power to any of this. Random chairs everywhere. 
this weird pallet style bookshelf that's going in the trash. We have this no trespassing sign, which is uh, coming right down because it's it's not very uh, neighborly, but but don't come here. Until there's a link in the description to book this place, please don't come here. We'll be doing work and uh, obviously I don't need anyone getting hurt, any liability, anything like that. So, you know, I'll let you know when it's time to come check this place out. Or maybe we'll do a subscriber meet and uh, maybe get out on the lake or something. I don't know, we're gonna do something. All right, so this is just weird. It's like a shack. It was a workshop, but then it turned into a bedroom. I, I don't know what to say about most of this. I, I have no words. We got the water meter right there. The utilities are really, really nasty. Actually, check it out. The power comes over from the transformer, pole, pole, and then we got that rain head where it comes down to the meter, but it splits into two wires and goes into two separate panels to power this house. And when I show you guys that panel, your mind will be blown and uh, I, I can't wait to rip it out of there. It's it's really bad. There's a, a modern panel over there, but it's still using this one. It's Things are bad. I didn't even realize it was gonna be this bad. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll replace the sheetrock. No, no. Anyway, this is going to be like a hangout spot. We're gonna try to redo it. Uh, make it kind of cozy, outdoor bar area, you know, nice lighting, uh, put a wall, just kind of a, some kind of privacy screen wall up here. I mean, it's built well, it's built out of these huge telephone poles. Hard to be upset about that. It's got big header boards and old school wood, you know, big old beams in there. You don't see that stuff anymore. Uh, a random window unit there, clearly trash. That's going away tomorrow. We got a TV, uh, VCR, DVD combo. Panasonic triple play. I bet it works. I hate to throw it away because it's also a flat screen, a flat CRT. So it's probably gonna go in the trash though. I mean, I don't even wanna haul it home and use it for the tech channel. Speaking of the tech channel, if you're not watching that, go subscribe at Tech Throwback. I will link that below. Um, I spend a lot of time over there trying to get out. You know, uh, every other day when I'm not posting a car video, I try to post a tech throwback video. Not while I'm down here though. Anyway, let's go inside. So we have this door. That has a wheel. What is that? That's like a Hobart scale or something up there. Anyway, uh, the mattresses, those have to go. Another window unit, that's got to go. Um, there's no switch, so I guess I'm not going to turn on this light. I think it might have been powered by an extension cord. We have a starter up there, old starter. Random seat, a cowl that looks like it's off a Mustang or something like that, and a uh, old air cleaner. Anyway, look at that. They were using pieces of Tyvek to keep the water that's coming through the screw holes coming out the sides. Wow, this thing is full of water. I have a feeling, ooh, is that a DVD player? I have a feeling this is, this is coming down. I really wanted to keep it and maybe we can keep the structure, but most of this is going in the trash. You guys are exploring this for the first time with me. I haven't seen any of it. Old school kitchen cabinets, breaker, lamp, a CD, Fury 3. Well, that is what was gonna be the cool bar, but it has so much water coming in. It may be uh, the tear down and put up an aluminum pergola. Oh, there's a mouse in the mouse trap. Oh, and a wasp. I tried to shut them in the door, it didn't work. So here in the yard, instead of a broken down car, we have some broken down wagon with some workout equipment in it. Uh, with multiple different styles of fences, our meters over there, just a pile of trash lumber sitting there. Some random pallets in the front yard. In case we need to do some office work, we have a file cabinet that's hanging out here. A pile of cats. They better come back and pick up those cats. That's all I know. They're not my pets. And uh, over here, we've got railings all over the place that are going, uh, well, that's all going in the dumpster for sure. This dog house is going in the dumpster. Look at this. This is the old TV antenna. Actually, you know, a great antenna. And a bunch of elements are ruined on that, so that's gonna come down and go in the dumpster as well. But it is a gigantic antenna. Um, we haven't gotten to the good part yet. We'll keep going outside the house here just to show you guys some of the crazy stuff we're dealing with. So we got a coffee table there. Going away, pallet going away. Uh, dead branch coming down. This was the deck. They sold this to me as being part of the house. They added 250 square foot to the house for this deck. And it is 100% 
not part of the square footage and now I'm gonna have to go debate that with the county because I had to buy it like that. On their seller's disclosure, they put there were no modifications or add-ons to the home. But it's pretty obvious this was hacked onto the house and in the worst possible way. It's super steep back here. Hopefully I can get down. Hopefully our four wheel drive boom lift can get down tomorrow to help us shred this thing. Look at that, tarps that are all ripped up, Tyvek, random pieces of wood. Um, a lot of the support base for this thing isn't touching the ground or they've shimmed it up. This is, this is horrible. All of this goes in the trash tomorrow. The metal roof on the house isn't actually a metal roof. It's just corrugated sheet metal that they stuck up there. Bed, screen door, more pallets for some reason, blower pieces, propane tank. I'll probably keep that stack of brand new boxes from Lowe's right there. Our hope here is we can rip all this OSB off the side where they tried to close in the deck, uh, get the windows out, maybe say, oh, they're, they're actually broken too. Throw it all in the trash. <laughs> We're gonna throw it all away tomorrow. And uh, from there, maybe we'll have a deck. And if the deck's worth saving, we'll jack it up a little bit and solve that. But check this out. When you're behind the house, that is like a 15 foot cliff right there. It is super cool. I think there was another structure here and they bulldozed it and made it part of this because there's bricks and concrete man-made stuff all throughout the pile there. Anyway, this is the backyard. It's incredibly steep. Uh, there's another burn pile for some reason. There's just burn piles everywhere and they're probably all full of nails. I honestly need like three 40 yard dumpsters to get this job done, but I can't rent 40s out here. For some reason, uh, I called everywhere and I, I just can't get my hands on them. I can only get, it's a 20 or a 30 that'll be here tomorrow, but they're gonna come and keep emptying it consistently. I hope, every day. Now, before we go in the house, let's take one more quick look around. Uh, this kind of deck going into it, not bad. I appreciate it, it's actually built correctly. Um, all the paint's coming off the house. We have all new windows already that just came out of another project Eric is working on. Uh, they're much nicer. We have this, another, I think it's a fluid container, but maybe a dog house that's going in the trash. Got some, uh, what, GMT 800. Tail lights right there, broken windows chains from the dogs that's all got to come off the trees we we'll get all that cut pieces of showers bathrooms oh this is the plumbing stash well it's all going in the trash the one thing in the keep list are these two pieces of scaffolding right there you can never have enough scaffolding around that's all i can say about that that door probably going in the trash a whole lot of trash basically all of it if i can lift it it's going in that dumpster tomorrow so here's the house pay no attention to the electrical uh, this is coax, no worries there. That's the ground for the breaker box right there outside of the house. Uh, there's one of the rain heads for the other set of electrical. That's not connected to anything at all. We got a little porch light, the deadbolt's ruined. And it smells, if you guys had smell-o-vision, well, I was gonna say it smells horrible, horrible, but really it just smells like cigarettes. Like tons and tons, like an old house. The walls are yellow from the cigarettes. I mean, everything's yellow. Hopefully that describes the smell pretty well. Uh, there's water over there in the corner. The, the fan feels nice because there's no air conditioning, but it's blowing the cigarette smoke back in your face. And that's, that's really tough to deal with. The fridge stayed. That's gotta go in the dumpster. <laughs> All of this is going. Uh, if it's in this house, it's going away. So I don't need to say it anymore. If it's inside, it's immediately going in the trash. This is that deck that they put plywood on and everything like that. There's no switch for the light. I don't know. There we go. I'm the switch. Okay. So this is all angled backwards, kind of falling off the house. And the floors are duct taped together. Anyway, uh, OSB shoved up there. And then there's the original siding. Look at that. It was a cool color. Man, this house was a cool color. Teal. All right. And there's this old oven, unfortunately, it has to go too. We probably can't even get it back out this way, so we're just gonna, right off the side of the deck it goes. So hopefully we can get it picked up. Where's that go? The fireplace is actually nice, but I don't know what this is. This is like an Ashley heater of some sort. Um, hot wall in operation, do not touch. Uh, you can't read the controls anymore. All I know is that's probably going in the trash too. Oh, it's a wood-burning stove. Look at that. That's what it is. Well, what do you need this for when you have a legit fireplace? We're gonna go back to the legit fireplace. Random holder for things right there. 
Screen door. In the, that's a screen door in the middle of the house. Fire alarm. I bet that works. Smoke alarm. Here's the electrical I was telling you guys about. I think this is the main 30 amp and this is the rest of the breakers. A Frank Adam panel. Uh, it's coming out. This whole thing is two wire and it's all gonna get changed to three wire like it should be. There's gonna be grounds. This was the bedroom. Uh, there was clearly a wall here and I think this might have been an outdoor door or to the, the original deck or something. Not quite sure. Maybe, oh, it was two bedrooms. Look at that. It was definitely two bedrooms. So they took out this wall uh, and it looks like it might have been load bearing too. So if it is load bearing, we're gonna reconfigure and uh, put a beam up there where it belongs. We'll do a little bit of measuring here in a second and that'll give us some answers. I think this was an exterior door as well. But there's a light switch. Weird. Maybe this was actually on the house before. I don't know. This seems like it's part of the house, but it's, the floor is going downhill like this. So it's coming off whatever it is. It's not part of the house. There's the original siding right there. Well, we've gone on our discovery mission together. Look at that. Well, that was easy to deal with. Here, I'll give it one more. That didn't work. That door's tough. <laughs> Goodbye, door. That lock wasn't doing much. All right, well, we got the door down. And behind door number three is the bathroom. Now, this bathroom is really, really, really bad. I don't know, they took their sink? They, there was a sink in this bathroom. I saw it in a picture. They took it. <laughs> I've never seen that before in my life. All right, well, this bathroom is very, very small. What is this? Uh, probably five foot this way, seven foot that way. Got a toilet that's definitely coming out. And here's the shower. Whew. That's probably not a shower you want to be in. That's only got one valve, no hot water anymore. They did tell me there is a water heater and it's underneath everything, under the house. All right, that's the bathroom. I can turn around in here and the door's 36 inches wide for some reason. I guess it's, it's almost ADA compliant. That's the house. I don't need to do anything in there. Cause I've got a full day of work to do out here. Let's start cleaning up this place. I recruited some help. I'm up here by myself today. So shout out to the Sharp Scales guys. Uh, they're gonna help me weed eat everything up. I'm gonna grab my weed eater, time to go to work. There we go, it's been about 10 minutes and the front of this place looks a million times better. Uh, next time I should go all the way to the road, even though I don't think this is quite my property, it needed cleaned up. So mow away and uh, I'm in here cutting all the little trees out of this so that this that is my property is nice and clean. Oh, since we're here, it's not for sale anymore. Okay, the yard's looking a little better. I cleaned up a lot of trees. There's a lot more yard and tree cleanup to go, but it's time to start making my pile of uh, needs to go to the trash. And I think that pile's gonna go right over there beside that fence. So when the dumpster comes in tomorrow or tonight, we can just start throwing stuff over the top. Also, this is like some Lord of the Flies situation. I don't actually know what that means. I just know that there's flies everywhere. Um, I'm gonna throw away everything that seems like the flies are coming from that general direction. And that chair is high on the list. Here we go. We're looking a hair better already. That was a lot of trash. All right, that antenna, they put it up there with like chicken wire that's wrapped around the top of the chimney. That's what's holding it up. And of course it's sitting on that doghouse. So I'm gonna run up there, got my wire cutters. 
we're gonna cut the coax going to it and then we're gonna run up there and uh, cut the antenna down and turn it, flip it to the side. Should go pretty well. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my ladder and my way off. Let's go. There's our coax. Let's say goodbye. You might have served somebody well, old antenna. Who knows? Clear of our power wires there. For some reason they left the coax from their satellite TV. We're definitely not putting satellite TV out here either. Internet. Internet's the only way. And now, this is actually the cover for the box, which is funny. Yeah, let's get these Christmas lights down. That was a lot of problem solving really quickly. Back to cleaning. We're down to the fun part, finding out just how bad everything is over here. I'm gonna start tearing all of these uh, tarps and the old Tyvek, everything out, putting it all in a pile and seeing just how bad it is underneath. And then tomorrow we can finally throw away the stacks of pallets. There's so many pallets. What kind of warehouse operation were they running here? I think that's a wasp. Christmas tree located. If you guys watch the proper people, you know it's abandoned now. All of this is surrounded by wasps or mud daubers, black with stingers, whichever one that is. It doesn't look fun. So uh, it's either pull and run or wait till we get some wasp killer. There's a Black and Decker circular saw in there. I guess there's one victory in this whole thing. And a free high chair. Whoever wants the high chair, it'll be in a dumpster. The wasps are stepping their game up here. They're all over the place. There's one there, one there. Well, there's a bunch more pallets and they're huge. Uh, that dual basin sink there, a pool slide. You can see there was, there's the pool right back there on that pallet. <laughs> there's so many pallets. Uh, propane tanks, there's a bunch of them in here tackle box. I don't know if there's anything good yet. We'll find out. And there's a wheelchair, actually a nice looking wheelchair. And there's that, oh, the stairs for the deck are right there. I wondered. So we must have been standing on the stairs for the deck. You can see them under that tarp. I guess tomorrow we find out. Where do they go? Where did they come from? Where did they go? I told you guys, they told me there was a water heater and it was under the house. Um, I think it's that one that's laying down, not hooked up to anything. There's a toilet there too. Basically, there was a water heater. They weren't lying. It's just not connected to anything. It's just trash. Oh yeah, man, the water heater's under there. It all works great. That's what I get for not checking. I just noticed this window's all boarded up. We'll take that off tomorrow. We get the rest of this off. There's a lot of work to do. Look at that, they painted the house with a sprayer and just stapled this, uh, or nailed this tarp to it and painted right over it. The original color's behind it there. The original color was better. Teal? We're gonna go white black. I think we're gonna go white black, but the original color was better. Let's get rid of these clotheslines. A little better. On to the next one. Nature is healing, guys. I'm giving the trees back their dignity here. And then I'm gonna bring my hammock. Actually, I might run a bunch of this to the dumpster right now because I gotta go get wasp spray. Uh, we gotta get rid of those guys. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep pulling that Tyvek down. And once I pull that OSB off the side of that thing, those things are gonna come right inside the house and that's the last thing we want. And we also don't want them over here on the camper.
I wondered what was going on with this tree that was growing up into the driveway. Turns out it just broke, so I figured let's get that out of there too. We'll cut all that out tomorrow. Then we'll take all this monstrous rock and make ourselves a nice little edge. So you don't back your trailer over the edge because you're not getting it back. That's for sure, it's a long way down. I made a quick trip to the community dumpster, took a ton of trash. Wow, these are so steep back here. And, uh, and also I bought some wasp and hornet killer here. So, where are you at? I should have bought a bunch more of this. It lasted like three seconds. This can's half empty. It's time for me to eat some dinner and then right back to cleaning up out here. Uh, we also got flea spray because there were or fly spray because there were flies everywhere uh, because they left food all over the place outside. So cleaning up everything as fast as I can. We knocked out a ton of work today and tomorrow we really get busy as we start to redo everything. And of course I'll have a place to put all this trash. Uh, obviously hauling one little load off to the dumpster did help out a lot over there, but there's so much more to go. Hey, the flies are already all gone. One spray there. But one more thing to do today is hang this up. I've got the perfect spot for it. There we go. I bought an abandoned mini resort. Few, uh, maybe a month from now, this thing will be ready to rock and roll. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. I could load all this up, but it's a lot easier to throw it over the side of a dumpster. And uh, like I said, it already looks a lot better over here just hauling off that one uh, power wheel that was covered in trash and toys. So in a second, I'll probably grab that one. We'll see. And then that one's all metal. I really want to hook a Milwaukee battery up to it and see what happens. Uh, if nothing happens, it's going right in the trash. I thought I was going to have to fend for myself out here too, but there's Sonic. I'm good to go. Welcome to my office. It might be soaking wet out there and I've, I, I smell terrible now after a day of working, but at least we got a nice place to chill while we work on that. If we wouldn't have had this camper here, I don't know how we would have done it. Uh, obviously, like, there's no hot water. There's really no electricity. It's all two-wire stuff. There's no air conditioning. There's no heat. I mean, that house has nothing. Very soon, it will have everything.